the first question was actually quite interesting. The importance of patient centricity or patient centered care of its people uh, is, is vital as we go forward. And I think that uh, the pandemic has really displayed to us what we really need to think about as we look at patient safety in the future. Um, so I actually don't have very many slides, but I have some slides I'm going to concentrate on the importance uh, of quality and safety right now, even more than ever before. Uh, as, I, as I watched what was happening and still watching what has happened worldwide with COVID and the infection, I think that those organizations that have quality and safety methodology as part of their core would be able to respond much better to the challenges we have now. Now, the first thing about is, is who is ISQA? So if this is the vision of ISQA, but what is ISQA? Are we really an international society uh, with uh, over a thousand members and over a hundred institutions as members from around the world really aiming to spread knowledge uh, uh, to improve quality and safety worldwide? And uh, the vision is to be one of the leaders. And you only can be a leader in transformation if you partner with organizations like Medvarsity to, to do to implement the knowledge. And we have, uh, I can see some from on the, in the chat box, some of our members are, are, are watching what we, we say today. Now, what do we really do? Um, uh, and this is what this course is that we, we spread in today is about spreading knowledge and building networks. Uh, and you are hopefully you're seeing that uh, it's giving people who participate in our courses and our, and our programs to give them a voice. Um, one of the things that uh, you'll see um, the way we can do this, and I'll give you an example because I see Carlos is on, on uh, from his in Milan at the moment, is that with our Italian partners, where we're going to have our conference next year, uh, we uh, we were watching what was happening in Italy earlier this year, and they um, they came up with the recommendations from their experience in uh, in in the in the COVID crisis and pandemic in Italy, which was ahead of most countries. After China and South Korea, they were most probably the third uh, big country to have have uh, this problem. And then they put together their their um, their recommendations in Italian. We translated them to English. And they put it in English, and then we had them translated into Portuguese, French, Spanish, and available so we could spread knowledge and build a network. So that's the kind of work that we do. And these are available on our website and available in the, in the journal that we publish so that people can learn from each other as fast as we can. And of course, they went into a second edition and will be updated as we learn more. Now, why, why is it important to, uh, to do this? Uh, we believe that uh, in order to have quality healthcare and health, and I can distinguish between the two, the healthcare being made generally the management uh, of diseases in hospitals and clinics and so on, and the health is the more the public health and prevention. In order to do that, you have to give people uh, uh, knowledge, and that gives them power. So if you look at healthcare over the last, 20 years, uh, it has really changed. And I'd say that the major change has been in the spread of knowledge and making the knowledge available to the people. Now, who are the people? So 20 years ago or 30 years ago, when I was uh, an early, in a younger age as a doctor, it was before the internet was really powerful. And the internet has changed the game in that people we call patients now have the knowledge that they didn't have before and the spread of knowledge. Secondly, uh, knowledge spreads very rapidly around the world. And this has occurred with COVID. It has really been something that has happened uh, at great speed.